10 Possible Causes and Risk Factors of Fibromyalgia That You May Not Know Fibromyalgia is a disorder characterized by chronic pain throughout the body. One of the key symptoms of fibromyalgia is that specific points on the patient's body might be especially tender to touch. These typically include the areas around either side of the collarbone, the upper part of the chest, the insides of the elbows, the areas going inward beside the knees, the back of the neck, the middle of the shoulders, the upper back, and the upper and middle portions of the buttocks. When these locations are pressed, a patient with fibromyalgia will experience pain, while a healthy person might just feel pressure. A person must be sensitive to touch in a majority of these points and suffer persistent muscle pain throughout the body to be diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia pain may vary in intensity and frequency, but it is generally described as a chronic, shooting muscular pain. Besides pain, other common symptoms include a disrupted sleep pattern or insomnia, excessive fatigue that renders one incapable of engaging in daily activities, joint and muscle stiffness that persists all day, leg pain, headaches, migraines, and memory and concentration issues. Some people might also suffer flu-like symptoms, weakness, night sweats, severe chest pain and ribcage tenderness, non-cardiac, but may feel like a heart attack, facial pain, tingling in the hands and feet, irritable bowel syndrome and menstrual problems. Many people describe fibromyalgia as a sickness that doesn't pass. Because fibromyalgia symptoms resemble common symptoms that could indicate just about anything, many people do not think to get evaluated for fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia affects 2 to 8 percent of the global population and can occur at any age, according to a 2013 study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Women, men and even children can develop it. Furthermore, the causes and risk factors associated with this disorder remain largely unknown. However, researchers are starting to identify them. Knowledge of these factors might just help an undiagnosed patient of fibromyalgia associate his or her symptoms with the risk factors and seek appropriate medical care. The medical profession recently debunked the myth that doctors are unable to do much to treat fibromyalgia. It is certainly treatable. Here are 10 causes and risk factors of fibromyalgia you may not know. 1. Genetics Genetics play a major role in the incidence and development of fibromyalgia in patients. This claim is undisputed and backed by evidence. First degree relatives of people with fibromyalgia were found to be 8.5 times more susceptible to fibromyalgia than people whose relatives did not have the disorder according to a 2004 study published in Arthritis and Rheumatology. Relatives of fibromyalgia patients are also likely to have more tender points in the event that they develop the disorder, and families with a history of fibromyalgia may share other associated neurological symptoms, such as mood disorders and increased sensitivity to pain, the study further notes. 2. Gender Fibromyalgia occurs more commonly in women than men according to a 2008 study published in Society for Women's Health Research. As many as 80 to 90 percent of all diagnosed fibromyalgia patients are females, according to the National Institute of Arthritis and Musculoskeletal and Skin Diseases. This is not to say that men do not get fibromyalgia. They certainly do, however, their symptoms are less severe and occur less frequently than in women. The exact science behind this occurrence is unknown, however gender has been found to play a major role in the development of the disorder. Women with a family history of fibromyalgia become even more vulnerable to it. 3. Sleep Disturbances Many people with fibromyalgia report trouble sleeping or even insomnia. Electroencephalographic readings of the brain's electrical activity in fibromyalgia patients have shown the presence of anomalous alpha wave activity, which is typically related to wakefulness and arousal. The lack of restorative sleep in people who have trouble falling asleep might cause increased pain and fatigue and might be a cause of fibromyalgia, according to 2009 study published in the Rheumatic Disease Clinics of North America. 4. Gluten Sensitivity Gluten sensitivity might just be a factor responsible for the development of fibromyalgia, 
according to a 2014 study published in Rheumatology International. Gluten sensitivity can be described as a group of symptoms, mostly gastrointestinal, that develop from gluten consumption, and subside when gluten is eliminated from the diet. Removing gluten from the prescribed diets of fibromyalgia patients has recently proved helpful in improving their symptoms, according to a 2015 study published in Clinical and Experimental Rheumatology. Although the risk is insignificantly high, people with fibromyalgia who suffer gluten sensitivity should also get checked for celiac disease, which is an occasionally reported disease in gluten-sensitive fibromyalgia patients. 5. Other Diseases and Disorders Oftentimes, other diseases may trigger fibromyalgia. These diseases include musculoskeletal and joint disorders, such as rheumatoid arthritis and psoriatic arthritis, autoimmune disorders, such as Sjogren's syndrome, lupus and spondylitis, and mental health disorders, such as depression. About 25% of people with rheumatoid arthritis, 30% of those with lupus and 50% of those with Sjogren's syndrome may develop fibromyalgia, according to a 2011 study published in Best Practice and Research Clinical Rheumatology. A 2005 study published in Arthritis and Rheumatology also reported that fibromyalgia is a very common occurrence in lupus patients. Therefore, patients suffering from these diseases must keep an eye out for added unusual symptoms as they could indicate fibromyalgia. 6. Physical Accident A traumatic physical event, such as a car accident, can be a risk factor for developing fibromyalgia. Studies have shown that many people report the development of chronic body pain right after they have been involved in a traumatic event. People who suffered a road accident were found to be at a significantly higher risk of developing chronic widespread pain, according to a 2011 study published in Arthritis Care and Research. Search.